So back in May 2020, there was a game that was released in Early Access called Gunfire Reborn. So the reason I'm bringing it up again is because this game is going to be changing price relatively soon and at the moment it is about £9 or $12 on Steam. The full price is only $20 but I just thought it's such a good pickup, get it now while it is still half of its full price. If you're still not convinced then let me tell you about the game and hopefully that will change some of your minds. So it's made and published by Duoi Games and this is the only game that they have made and released to date. At its heart it is an FPS roguelike RPG and you take on the role of several different heroes and they all come with their own different abilities. And the best thing of all, this isn't just a solo game. You can play it up to with four different people. The aesthetics I absolutely love. There are a few games that have that kind of borderland stylism when it comes to FPSs, but this is one that's taken it, adopted it, and really nailed it. The colours are fresh, vibrant, and just has a really clean look and feel to it. And as previously mentioned, it is a roguelike game, so the weapons that you get dropped are completely random. The items that get dropped are random. The secrets random you get the idea there are currently five different characters that you can play from and they all have this wonderful aesthetic of being in the animal world and i'm not going to go on and pronounce their names because i'm going to absolutely butcher them but i can tell you you get to play a cat a dog a bird another cat and a bunny girl and they all come with their varying different degrees of abilities now i got to play around with the crown prince and haven't unlocked any of the others yet so far and to give you an idea of some of the abilities that each of these characters has, so the Crown Prince or the Cat, one of them is Energy Orb, which basically fires out a big energy missile and anything it hits takes a load of damage and also gets frozen. And his secondary ability is called Smoke Grenade and it's more like an acid grenade because it makes basically a great big green pool on the ground and anything that goes in it takes extra corrosive damage or just a flat corrosive damage amount and you've got other abilities on other characters so the dog which is called Al Bay his primary ability is dual wield so you use it and he pulls out his secondary weapon and as you can imagine you can do twice the amount of damage and then you've got your explosive grenade skill as well which is you know speaks for itself you throw it and it does an explosive AoE the game has tons of replayability across Steam you'll see that people have spent literally between 30 and 100 hours on the game and it's no surprise because the game is absolutely oozing with tons of progression elements. There's a substance called Soul Essence which you can use to upgrade your heroes. And there's also tons and tons of what's called unlockables and these come in various forms. So you've got scrolls which are used to give you passive upgrades per run. Additionally you've got different weapons that you can unlock. And finally you've got the ascensions which you can change around and have different build styles per run per hero on each of the games you play. Now I could go on and on and describe all of the game but I'm just going to leave it in your hands for now and just remind you that this game is well worth picking up and you can also play it with your friends. There are tons and tons of guys out there if you're getting stuck or you just want more information on it. Go check out the fandom wiki as well at gunfirereborn.fandom.com and just give it a go and tell me what you think. It is tons of fun. I've Now that I've been reminded of the game I'm actually going to pick it up and have another go and see if I can unlock some of the more heroes. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Have a great day everyone and I'll be back with more news and reviews soon.